Wonder Woman number nine, written by Brian Azzarello, art by Tony Atkins. Last issue left off with Wonder Woman trading herself for Zola in terms of being held in Hades, and Hades is going to marry her, so that's a thing. Uh, this issue picks up in Damascus, where Strife is talking to her brother War at an cafe just randomly on the street basically saying like hey there's gonna be a wedding with hades uh you going and he's like no you, you get one shot at that and i'm not showing up to the second wedding and he's like all right well i was hoping for an escort i'm sure it will be a blast and i'm gonna rewind real quick because over the course of this one page in the background you see this truck driving around the corner parking itself next to this cafe, a dude very hurriedly getting out and running away, and the moment that Strife says blast, the whole thing explodes and kills everybody around except for these two gods. It's a hell of an eye catch. So War gets up, he puts on his hat, and walks through the flames of this burned-out building. And he's like, yeah, all right, I'm not going to this wedding, but if you excuse me, I have other things that I don't care about. And he just leaves. Uh, we cut back to Mount Etna, where the whole gang sands Wonder Woman. So Lennox, Zola, uh, Hermes, Hephaestus, and the last guy I can't remember. They're all chilling out and just like talking like, okay, what's our game plan here? How are we going to get Wonder Woman out? And also, that was a really stupid plan to just leave her back there. Like, we should have done more to fight. But regardless, we got to do something. And Hermes straight up says, okay... Zola, you and I, like, we're out of this. I'm protecting you. Whatever these guys decide to do, that's fine, but you're not going back there, and I'm not going... I'm, I'm, I'm charged with protecting you. That is my oath. And at that point, Hephaestus is like, you know, like, it sucks, but we are invited to the wedding. Like, at least the gods are, and several of us have plus one, so let's just go to the wedding and get her out then. And so they have a whole bunch that Hephaestus is like, all right, yeah, we're going to the wedding, but we are still going to bring some weapons. So he gets to work. Uh, we cut over to Wonder Woman, who is, I guess, getting prepared for her wedding, or she's... She's at least getting... She's powdered up. And there's a woman around her who's like, oh, you, Hades has a has a weird sense of love, but it, it's, it's there, and it can sometimes be cruel, but, you know, he... He's going to be there. So he got you a gift already. And she opens up the windows out in, out of her room into hell. And she sees a perfect recreation of Paradise Island. And Wonder Woman is, of course, in tears immediately. And the woman's like, yeah, that's the cruel part of the love. Sorry, I'll, I'll tell him that you don't want to be thinking about that. And then we see that this woman is bleeding. And Wonder, Wonder Woman demands to see... Like, did someone hurt you? Did someone do something to you? And she looks at the woman's wrists, and they are slit, just top to bottom, and bleeding heavily. And she's like, who did this to you? And she's like, I did this to me. I'm Persephone. I was Hades' wife once, but when I tried to escape, uh, he said he would never let me leave, and he'd never let me f forget my betrayal. So here we are. Uh, then we cut to a two-page spread here of... Hermes and Zola just walking through the woods and Zola's like man we should have done something I don't feel good about this and then all of a sudden out of the blue Aphrodite shows up who we don't ever actually get to see but she's apparently a very beautiful and very naked woman and immediately like everyone's all gaga over her because she's Aphrodite um and also she's the wife of Hephaestus apparently which is interesting comparing Hephaestus to her so at this point, Aphrodite's like, oh, Zola, you, you're blossoming and you're so beautiful. And she's like, oh, my God, this is, oh, I feel so good about myself. Um, but regardless, they, she basically just forwards the point of, look, here's the thing. Don't, don't be angry at Hermes. He's, he's literally just the messenger. Just consider, consider the message that he's trying to protect here. You know, he's trying to save you and your child. So... Just a little bit of foreshadowing, I feel like, on that part. Then we go to Hades, who's sitting, waiting for the wedding to start. Not a lot of people are showing up from his family, and he seems a bit disappointed. He's also sitting on a throne of, like, someone's body, and I think it might be Kronos, I think it says later on. Regardless, 
He's just sitting on a throne of somebody. And Strife appears, and she's like, oh, hey, it's nice to see you. Uh, you mind if I have a drink? And she holds up a tear or a glass to Cronus's tears, which are apparently wine. And basically, she's just saying, like, you know, Hades, I would hate to see you have another marriage not work out. If only there was some way that you could find out whether or not Wonder Woman was telling the truth. Hmm. So then we cut over to the rest of the gang arriving at the uh, wedding. Hephaestus and Lennox and that last guy, I still can't remember. And I think it's Eros. I'm pretty sure that was Eros. So they arrive and Lennox is like, all right, what do we do? How do we find her? And he's like, well, why don't we just wait? Because we know she's going to be at the wedding. So we'll just catch her then. He's like, isn't the whole point to let her not get to the wedding? Eh. And as they arrive, they see that in lieu of the entirety of the gods family showing up, Hades invited all of the souls of hell. So the entire place is just this blinding white light of souls surrounding the entirety of the wedding ceremony. So then we go to Wonder Woman, who's dressed up in this crazy ass, the best way I can describe it is like Scarlet Witch outfit with a cape of chains and hands, cut off hands on it. Um, and one of her quote unquote bridesmaids threatens her saying like, if you do anything to hurt your husband, I'm going to rip out your throat. Have a nice wedding day. So they go down to the wedding ceremony on horseback and Hades basically lets her know like, here's the thing. I'm incapable of love, but I still want you to love me. And you say you love me, but I know that you only came here as part of a ruse. So I don't know if I can trust you. So I'm going to need you to tell me in truth. And she's like, okay, yeah, no, totally. I will prove my love however I need to. And he's like, good, good, cool. So I just want you to put on the ring and say you love me and then... uh I'll believe you. And as they approach the altar, we see that the ring is not a traditional ring. Because it's Hades, it's a noose. And the noose is made out of Wonder Woman's lasso of truth. So all she has to do is put that on and honestly admit that she loves Hades. Otherwise, he'll kill her. And that's where we uh, leave off. Solid. Very good. Um, this felt like more of a transitional issue, more than a big plot point thing. It was just kind of getting too this point where the people who need to be here are here and because like literally it was everybody who wasn't in hell needed to get to hell and everybody who was in hell needed to get out so it was just kind of the issue where everyone changed places we got places people where they needed to be and we set up just this little cliffhanger of wonder woman has to admit that she loves hades under the lasso of truth which might be a problem um art is fantastic uh tony atkins really does a great job um there are a few, I, I want to say inking problems, but it's all—it's not, it's like colored inks. It's the outlines. I can't even say if it's really not inks. It's heavier colors on some of them. I don't know how to good explain it, but it's there. Um, so overall, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Very good. Looking forward to seeing how it's wrapped up. And Wonder Woman's just been solved the whole way through. Don't really feel like I have much more to say on that. Mm-hmm.